I convinced my eight month pregnant wife to come out uh, to the pasture with me tonight. <laughs> she was super happy about all the bumpy pasture road. That's a reference to a video right there, pasture road, go watch it. Anyways, what I'm doing here tonight is the I'm moving uh, cows. I also have a group of steers to move. Uh, because it's been so hot every day, 90 plus, sometimes 105 heat index or whatever. Uh, the cattle, I like them to be able to be as still as they need to be in the afternoon just to stay cool. So it's much cooler. It's down to probably closer to 80 and it, the, the sun's not so bright on them. So uh, this is the time of night where they're gonna be grazing a lot more anyways and be a lot high or more energy. So I've been coming out kind of in the evenings uh, to move them. So I just moved them from the south paddock to the north paddock here. Now we're gonna go move the steers. This pasture is running lower on grass. Um, we, our turnout at this place was a little later. Uh, we didn't get access to it till later, but so we had a, we had a higher stocking rate but we're gonna, that means we're gonna have to pull the cattle earlier because we haven't had any rain for a while. So usually we can keep cattle on grass till about August 15th, but I'm pretty sure at least partial, either the steers or the cows, most likely the steers will have to come off by about July 10th or 15th because they've, ate, they've eaten the grass down, it won't rain. So it takes more than just sun to go grass. So we're gonna have to bring them home and they'll be back on the silage ration. Really fun. It looks yummy. <laughs> Back in the beginning of the summer, I told Laura I had a job for her, and she was willing to come out and help me with this. But that was before Laura got super busy with summer classes and mowing everyone's yard. Our mineral from ADM. They're gonna eat more mineral if they're getting less of the nutrients from the grass. So some people actually, they have their grass tested for exactly which nutrients are missing. And then they only put out those minerals with that set of cattle. But we buy pretty much generic or standard, standard mineral for Kansas grasses. Uh, they have a lot of different mixes. Some minerals cheaper, some's more expensive. There's different steer mineral than cow mineral. Uh, we're trying something different in our cow mineral. We're feeding some garlic uh, that comes actually with the mineral. And then of course we always add salt. And the garlic is essentially another level of fly control, which we already have involved in some of the mineral. Um, but the less flies, uh, the more the cattle are gonna gain. And if, if it's cows and calves and they're not trying to gain weight, um, they're just trying to have healthy calves. Um, so anything you can do to minimize flies with your cattle herd is uh, good. That looks good when I heard it clicking, so it's on. Kendall is making sure that these steers have access to that water that's back behind him so he ran back there to make sure something weird about me is a lot of times i'd rather just step over a fence and hop over it and then go through the gate i don't know if that's lazy or unlazy or just that i'm young uh so i was just checking to make sure they had water oh uh, what's nice about this pasture is we don't need to bring over any of our panels or sheet to bring them home with because we can just lure them in and trap them in these feedlot pens and then run them down this nice alley all the way out to the loadout chute. So less of the gathering work. We'll just bring them in, trap them. We'll probably bring home half of them here in the next week or so.
refilling another mineral for like the 50th time this summer. <laughs> this group gets two bags because it's been a while since I've been over here and there's 90 head. That was exciting, wasn't it? <clears throat> Watching me undo a chain and opening up a gate. You really struggled with that one. It did, actually. It took me about twice as long as it should have. <laughs> Kendall used to make me do gates, but he said I've gotten pregnant enough that I don't have to anymore. I don't think those are the exact words I use. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I just remembered? What? When we first got here, you opened the gate and you said, don't let me forget to shut that gate. And I just now remembered it. And I don't think that you shut it. No, I didn't shut it. Now I have to either go left to shut the gate or go <laughs> right to turn on the water. <laughs> we better go back and shut that gate. Right Sorry, I should have remembered before now. Well, this is when it matters. Oh. They're, they're technically... So I did, I did my job. They're technically kept from a bar... There's a barbed wire there before the gate, so... You should have closed this gate. I regret it. <laughs> But we didn't forget, we didn't go home. Well, the cattle weren't gonna get out if I left this gate open. It's not the most important gate on the whole place. Now we just have to make one more stop, right? One more stop. I'm hungry. Yeah, that wasn't the best idea to come here without eating. <laughs> but you know, cows, they're gonna take care of them. Guess whose idea it was to come before eating. Not mine. <laughs> The way we pump water at our home feedlot is different. It's on an automatic, um, it's not on a timer. It's on a float system. So when the water pressure gets below a certain pressure, it pumps it up to hit that pressure mark. So it stays between two levels. That way all the tanks are always filled full. So this one's a little more high risk for watering in the summer. But again, it's a rented place, so we're not gonna change it just for one year. So where are we going now? We're going home to eat. <laughs> so other times of the year, Kendall goes to pasture like during his normal work day. But this time of year, this is what a lot of his nights between 8.30 and 9.30 look like. So usually I can- Two nights a week. Yeah, well usually I can start cooking dinner um, when I see him doing chores at the feedlot, like starting to feed. But this time of year, I always have to text and make sure he's not gonna go to pasture after he does chores. Yeah. Because then that, that always well, makes me a little sad because when he starts doing chores, I think I'm about 45 minutes from him coming inside. And then he'll text and be like, oh, I have to go move some cows or check on some yeah. water. And then I'm like, oh, I'm like two hours from him coming inside. And during weed harvest, I was always going back out to the field to do other stuff too after chores. Yeah. Deer! Ah! Can't drive <laughs> home at this time of day without a deer. We made it. Time to eat. Good night. 10 o'clock is over. <laughs> hmm.